EcoFlow and Function. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 247. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 247, December 17th, 2017 edition. Today's topic, EcoFlow and Function. Let's talk about EcoFlow and Function because arguably EcoFlow and Function is currently being disrupted by a lack of information, by a lack of resources, and possibly by a lack of interest. And even if you disagree with everything that I just said, I think that it's safe to say that if we increased interest and if we increased resources and we increased accessibility to ecological solutions, to eco solutions, to green living solutions, to sustainable solutions, then these things would improve and increase in the world. And so one community is here to help that process of improving EcoFlow and function through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And we've broken highest good living into several different component parts that we think are essential to EcoFlow and function if we're to create a sustainable world and sustainable society that will benefit all life on this planet. More specifically, we've created what we call an evolution of sustainability. It takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. Everybody is familiar with food, energy, and housing as foundations of sustainability. If we have sustainable models for those, just food, energy, and housing, we would dramatically improve life on this planet. And most people would agree that the way that we are currently building, the way that we are currently creating food, and the way that we are currently producing energy, while it is improving dramatically, it is still has not reached the tipping point of sustainability. But then there's the emotional aspects of sustainability, and we think these are essential too to highest good living. And those foundations which we identified are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and truer stewardship, like putting it all together in a model that stewards the planet, making us conscious and conscientious stewards, humanity that is, conscious and conscientious stewards working together to improve eco flow and function for all life on this planet creating a sustainable civilization that will benefit everyone and everything that lives here. We have one world and we're sharing it and currently we're not taking care of it in a way that is sustainable. So it seems to make sense to create a model that would make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate itself as attractive enough that it would spread on its own and built on a foundation of sustainable and highest good living for the benefit of everybody that's sharing this planet so that we can all reap the benefits. And so this is our idea for improving EcoFlow and Function, is putting together all the components, the physical components, the emotional components, putting them together to create a way of living that most people, we think, will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. Making easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And so this is what you see happening in the background of this video, is our work. The last seven years we've been working, we're an all-volunteer, unpaid, non-governmental, non-profit organization creating open source tools, tutorials, and resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. All aspects of physical sustainability and the foundations of emotional sustainability, so we can put those together and create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs around the world working together as a global cooperative and collaborative to create even more open source resources and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. And so this is what one community is doing. This is what we're up to. And we're tackling all of those different components. And to date, we've had over 300 volunteers help out with this process. Well over 300. I think we're probably more like at a 500 volunteers, but we've definitely got over 250 listed on our website and then probably easily another uh, couple hundred that have helped out in small ways along the process, but not significantly enough to be listed on our website. This is how one community is creating world change and we're inviting anybody to participate and we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing so that people can take what it is that we're doing and replicate it anywhere in the world, modify it, adapt it, improve upon it building a foundation of open source resources to 
help EcoFlow and function improve globally so we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And it is possible if you run the math of the idea of building one community as a prototype where people can come and visit and experience what one community is, starting with 50 people, of growing to 500 people, eventually growing to thousands and hosting hundreds of thousands of people, exposing them to what it is that we're doing, sharing the whole process, sharing the complete lifestyle and offering it as an open sourced and free shared gift to humanity so that people can take what we're doing and replicate it, improve upon it and implement it in their own lives in whatever way works best for you. Hopefully bringing together groups of people around the world who also want to create teacher demonstration hubs so that we can build this cooperative, build this collaborative, invite more and more people to participate and create the self-replicating process. And if you run that self-replicating process with just groups of 50 people, not even the hundreds that one community will grow to and the thousands eventually, and then we see other communities growing to, but just with 50 people, if you imagine one community inspiring two more communities the next year and that year after that four more and then eight and then 16 32 and 64 and so on and so forth run that pattern for 50 years for 30 years just for 30 years and we will have transformed the entire planet into a sustainable world and that doesn't mean everybody's living in little sustainable communities we're talking about models that can be implemented in any environment all over the world working together creating solutions and adaptable enough to address the greatest challenges of our lifetime and for generations to come right now. Working together as one human tribe, one human family, one group, one with a common planet that we all share and a common goal of wanting to create a world that's sustainable because currently we're not living sustainably. So this is what One Community is doing. So with that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of, of improving ecoflow and function globally for the benefit of all life on this planet. Here it is, check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we began the racetrack road design, as shown here. And the core team continued working on the Murphy Bed instructions, worked on page 631, and made revisions on page 632, wall frame panels assembly page, as shown here. The core team also finished the second half of updating the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 open source hub. This included new formatting, updated content, and new and updated images for all the sections related to the design and planning specifics. You can see some of this work here. We also started the final review process for the 60 plus page Treehouse Village online book we've been developing. You can see some of the review notes here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 31st week volunteering with our team. This week's focus was further developing the vermiculture toilet chamber designs by improving the bottom of the container so that it can be bolted together and constructed without welding while also having an easier mechanism for using pins to secure it to the pallet jack. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 93 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continued work on the stage areas and lights that will illuminate the stages. Sungum Stanzak, PhD and PE, continued researching and contacting companies for the hardware we'll be using to sterilize the gray water from the communal eco showers. She also created an updated design schematic shown here for the complete system. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 66th week helping with the compressed earthblock village design and render details. This week's focus was the work leading to this additional final render of the Zone 17 Central Play and Recreation Area, which can also be now viewed on the website. Jaganathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 12th week volunteering. This week's focus was finishing work on the compressed earthblock village materials cost analysis content and associated graphics as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, 
provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his fifth week helping with the HVAC designs for the Dubuclo City Center. This week's focus was completing the first of three analyses for the indoor-outdoor natural pool impacts on the social dome. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 61st week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing updates to the lighting zone spreadsheet to match all the zone updates made in AutoCAD. Satyash Ravindran, senior mechanical and industrial engineer, completed his fourth week helping with the lead lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was writing all the pages of content shown here for the lead recommendations tutorial. Ricardo Carrillo, principal consultant at Acumen Industries, also helped create the updated city center wall detail you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the formulas and data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, bringing it to approximately 90% completion, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we created the formatting and began entering the content for the Surpassing Education Standards page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the process of launching One Community's Instagram page. We downloaded additional images, created a new Instagram spreadsheet to keep track of hashtags, and added the first nine images to the account. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Pretty Kodari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, they finalized the application schema, merged the time entry updates, researched front-end role-based functionality options, and tried both collection and separate collection approaches as a test. What you see here are some of this work, along with pictures from their weekly collaborative call. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of improving ecoflow and function globally through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we've created, uh, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There is an immense amount of information there. Check it out. It's amazing. Highly recommend. Please visit our website. See everything that it is that we're creating. If you'd like to help out, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to any of our social media channels. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information and share information. We share these updates on all of our social media networks every single week. So if you'd like to follow us through social media, pick your favorite social media network. We're there. Come join us on social media. We would love to see you there. And of course, Thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for sharing and liking our information. It's actually really, really helpful and the easiest way to support us. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get on our posts. We really do appreciate that. And uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for the donations. Uh, all We are a 100% unpaid organization, so all volunteer staff. So every dollar of every donation goes to forwarding our mission. It doesn't go to a paycheck for me or anybody else that's working in our organization. We're all volunteers. So if you're somebody that's donated to one community, 
Thank you for your donations. It really does make a difference. Helps cover our overhead for a global organization like ours. It does make a difference. And uh, I already said thank you to watching the end. So thank you for being you and supporting in whatever way that you were choosing to support us. We do appreciate it, even if it just means just watching this video. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.